In this video, I'm gonna be buying, reviewing, and destroying some of the five biggest LEGO sets to exist right now. Let the challenge begin. Okay, so for the past couple of years, LEGO's been making some ridiculously large and expensive LEGO sets. But the only people who can buy these are rich adults who put them on display and never play with them. So as a LEGO YouTuber, I'm gonna buy these sets and test them to see if they're really worth it. It's time to buy our first LEGO set, so I made a quick speed run to the LEGO store. It's gonna be $681.99. I got you, boss. I then copped it and brought it to the crib. What the heck? This is the Lego Eiffel Tower. It's currently the second largest Lego set in the world, and it's time to open the box. What the heck? How did I get a bruise from doing that? And this set comes with a whopping 10,001 Lego pieces. But obviously, before we can destroy any of these sets, we have to build them first. So it's time to whip out my master building Emmett skills and get this thing cooked up. Even Ratatouille's got nothing on me. No way, the set uses glizzies. And after grinding all day, this French piece of architecture was finally completed. Okay, well that took a good 15 hours, and the set is almost 5 feet tall, which is almost as tall as I am. And with how intricate and detailed this set is, it doesn't look very secure. So let's see what happens if we try simulating an earthquake. Oh my gosh, it's like a noodle. Okay, now I'm gonna take it outside and simulate a flood. Okay, and it looks like that broke off the top of the Eiffel Tower. Now, I just realized, because the Eiffel Tower is French, for this next test, what if we hit it with a French baguette? And yes, I did have an actual French person tell me to do this. Okay, well, I guess it did the same thing. It broke off the top again. And for this final round, I bought a bunch of random fireworks, and we're gonna see what kind of damage we can make. Okay, that literally did nothing, so what if we do a hundred of them? Okay, here we go. Okay, that still did nothing, but it made everything really dirty. Also, please don't do that at home. Another giant Lego set I found at the Lego store was this Marvel Hulkbuster. So let's cop it and bring it to the crib. All right, let's see how long this set takes me to build. This set has 4,049 pieces and costed $550. It's got 25 separate bags and three massive instruction booklets. So this is gonna take a thick minute to build. Hey, yo, that piece looking kind of sus, though. This is also the biggest Lego Marvel set you can buy right now. And after spending an entire day of speed building the set, we had a finished product. Dang, he looks like one of those anime characters that's about to unleash their true power. And that took 12 hours to build. This Hulkbuster has shiny gold armor. It lights up, which is also pretty lit, and its arms can actually move. And when you open up its helmet, there's actually a lot of space inside to put things. Wow, the set is a great drink holder. Now, because these Hulkbusters are massive suits of armor, surely they're gonna be indestructible. What would happen if a Lego minifig punched it? Yeah, that did pretty much nothing. What if I shot it with a Nerf gun? Uh-oh, we blew a hole through his chest. In almost every superhero movie, the villain will throw a car. So what if I threw a Lego car at it? Uh-oh, that destroyed a little bit of his armor. What if I brought it outside and hit it with a real car? Wow, well that completely destroyed his legs. What if I put him in my car and then took him on a ride? Oh yeah, his leg came off. But I'm still really mad that I spent $500 on this, so I'm gonna unleash my anger by punching it. That's what you get for being $500. Another Lego set on my list is this massive Lego Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. Let's buy it. This set costed a whopping $850 and is made from 7,541 pieces. Bruh. Whoa, this has got to be the biggest instruction book I've ever seen. So now it's time to take the pieces out of the box and spend a day building this thing. I looked it up and apparently on the Guinness Book of World Records website, the fastest time for building this was 10 hours and 21 minutes. So I'm going to see if I can beat that. Wow, well that took me 17 hours, so I tried guys. Now this Millennium Falcon is extremely massive and heavy. It has tiny details, a moving door, <laughs> cockpit, and a bunch of minifigs like this Chewbacca with a working crossbow. Okay, it says to grab it by the bottom and not by the edges. What if I don't do that though? Bruh. Yeah. Uh, don't do that. Now, since the Millennium Falcon is meant to fly through the galaxy, what if a giant meteor from the sky came and hit it? So, I built this very colorful ball in Lego. 
Okay, that actually held up surprisingly well. I'm honestly pretty impressed by the set, but I'm disappointed because it can't fly like in the movie. But I think I actually have a solution to making it work. Oh my gosh, let's freaking go, we got it. Oh my gosh, it's flying. Whoa, 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 stop, stop, what is- Oh my gosh, it's gonna break. Oh! You know what, I'm actually impressed this hasn't fallen. Okay, that was some good training, so now it's time for it to fly by itself. Bruh. Dang, what a piece of junk, bruh. It's time to unbox and build our next Lego set. I searched the internet for the biggest Lego car I could find and found this one. It's a Lego Technic Ferrari Daytona SP3, and this one is made from 3,778 pieces. So now it's time for many painful hours of trying to put this together. And not only is Ferrari an expensive car brand, but this Lego set was also really expensive because it costed $400. Whoever designed this needs a pay raise. Like, look how complex this thing is. This car uses Technic pieces, which is a lot different than normal Lego, but much more durable and strong, which means this car might actually be pretty hard to break. And after 12 hours of building, the Ferrari was finished. Yes, sir. It comes with luxurious butterfly doors, a working steering wheel, and a lot of other movable features like a working suspension system. Let's see how bouncy it is. Oh crap, the back came off. So basically, this car is really complicated. Look how cool this is. The gears literally move the wheels. But like all cars, it needs to be able to handle some light crashes. So I built this testing dummy to add inside, and now we're gonna put it to the test. Okay, test one. Holy crap, that was impressively bouncy. Now it's time to take this to another level, so I spent the next few hours building this massive ramp made from base plates that goes down my staircase, and at the bottom is a Lego man living in his peaceful home that looks like something a five-year-old built. Okay, here we go. Okay, that ended up hitting my camera and not the house, so let's try that again. What the heck? That Ferrari literally bodied that house and made it fly through the air. And it looks like our dummy is still chilling in there. Another Lego set on my list is the Titanic. And I actually built it in a few videos back, and it's still put together chilling in my room, so we're gonna do some tests with it. Like, can we get it to flow? Okay, here we go. Come on, flow. Yeah, it's tipping. Uh-oh. Now it's breaking apart. No, we can't. Well, at least it's movie accurate. But I already sunk this Titanic in an older video, so there's another test we're gonna try. I wanna see how it can hold up to a giant iceberg. Wow, that was surprisingly pretty durable. Oh yeah, I forgot, I left a minifig in there. Now before we look at the world's biggest Lego set, here's a quick speed round of some of the world's tiniest Lego sets I found on the internet for only a few dollars each. This first one is made from 22 pieces and is a barbecue stand of a guy cooking up some bus and chicken. The second one is made from 16 pieces and it's a farm guy that comes with a dog and a pig. This third one comes with 19 pieces and it's a construction guy that comes with a working concrete mixer. This fourth one comes with 17 pieces and it's a British soldier with a rack of random weapons for him to use. And this final set has 43 pieces and it's a tiny car that can fit one passenger and it kind of looks like a smart car. Wow, that's a very fresh looking whip. And now, it is time for me to unbox the biggest Lego set to exist. This one costed $250 and goes by the name World Map. Yo, Lego needs to chill. Look how many studs this set has. Yep, that's right. Out of the 11,695 pieces that this set has, 10,737 of them are studs. And I'm about to do something that might hurt to watch because I'm gonna combine all the colors together. Okay, low key though, that is pretty satisfying, not gonna lie. Oh, this is so massaging. And in this Lego set, they're supposed to act as pixels to a giant Lego image we're gonna build. Okay, that's one down, 38 more to go. And this image is a massive map of the entire world. And I'm gonna be honest, but this was the most robotic Lego set I've ever built. Like my one job was literally to keep laying studs on a base plate. Okay, it's uh, 2 a.m. so I'm gonna go to bed and finish this in the morning. So after a full day of very tedious building, our map was finally finished. Oh my gosh, it's done! Yes! Looks like this one took me nine hours to build. The set comes with these tiny pins you can put on the map to mark where you've been, and it also comes with this very thick brick separator that can peel off seven studs in one go. You're actually supposed to hang this up like a picture on the wall, but that's something that NPCs do, so I'm gonna destroy it like a cool person. I just realized that this earth is flat, so let's have it go to battle with my other Lego earth, which is round. Wow, the round earth took hardly any damage. Okay, and it looks like the flat earth got absolutely destroyed, so the round earth won. I'm also a black belt in karate, so what if I tried headbutting it? 
And finally, what happens if I put it in the doorway and run straight through it? Yeah, so that pretty much broke it in half. Well, after destroying all these Lego sets, it looks like I'm gonna have to put these back together. Yeah, this was definitely one of the most painful videos I've ever done. Please give this video a like. I have an eight minute bonus gaming video for the new Lego 2K Drive game. So click the link in the description to see it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.